Yeah, I want to show my settings for MY Riders VR car app for DCS. Uh, every VR fly I suggest to use this app. Uh, and I have to mention it's not a mod, not a modification. So it won't be broken after a DCS update. It's a standalone app you have to install and can use them for every aircraft you want to fly. I will show you my settings. Um, first starting Steam VR, then the VR K app. Uh, yeah, I'm using a Wacom Intuos S tablet, uh, one with a cable, with B connection, with B connection, and uh, another one with a Bluetooth connection. The Bluetooth one is on the right side, and the cable connected one on the left side. So, have a look at the Wacom settings. Yeah, as I'm using two tablets at the same time for the two kneeboards, I, I had to do different settings in the Wacom tablet section. When I used the uh, all uh, settings for all apps, applications, it wasn't working consistently, so I added one for the VR type. So it's a look, I'm sorry, it's old German, but I think you will find it in English as well. I didn't change, uh, I changed just the, the buttons for uh, application defined. I didn't change anything at the, at the pen. But you have to do that to change the projection, the area where you interact and the area which allow you to interact on the tablet. The tablet area, I have the full area, so I can use the whole tablet area. But on the monitor area, I have just defined uh, it. And you can define that, that especially in the part of it and then you can define the points by clicking onto the area. Uh, just make sure you do have a visual reference for your window if you want to move it. So I moved it in the upper left corner. So I move it always to the same uh, spot. Then I defined the area by clicking the, four, uh, the two corners and okay and for the second tablet if you are using two if you are use, just using one you are done now but if you are using two uh, you have to do all this for the second tablet as well and for the second, second tablet I had to define the whole monitor area for the, for the tablet to work correct oh, this is a little bit strange but it's working perfect. I will show you all later. So, yeah, just just a strange uh, need. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, everything application defined. Pen the same projection. Yeah, the other settings I didn't use. Yeah. So we are cap and then two tablets defined is the smaller one for the main tablet and the whole monitor for the second tablet don't know why this, this is so but uh, it works that way so I can live with it then have a look at the settings at the VRK app yeah first you have if you have more t than one tablet you have to assign the tablets but if not, uh, the, you don't have to change anything here. Uh, you can define a default layout file. For me, it's the F18 layout with the native ops checklist and a few charts. Nine line on the right side, yeah. You can here auto save reopen the layout. The VR settings, you can define the position of the of the kneeboards in VR. 
if you just want one kneeboard, for example, you can move it out of the of the visual area. I'm using a Valve Index, so I need the Steam VR mode. Yeah, you can now. Yeah, that's a few settings if you're using hands emulation. Yeah, the 3D API. Strokes, the visibility of the strokes, if you want them uh, more or less visible. Yeah, and the inputs, you will definitely have to set your inputs uh, for every tablet. I'm using a page down, page up for the four buttons on the tablet. And I've assigned uh, both tablets the same functions, so it uh, makes no difference which tablet I'm, I'm clicking. Yeah, and the DCS user directory, as you can see, my Windows uh, username saved games DCS open beta. You can browse there and install the hooks. Yeah, it's uh, this makes uh, we are okay able to auto load your mission file. So if you if there is a kneeboard uh, inserted in your mission. Uh, VRK is out of loading it and presenting it on the I guess it's on the right side normally yeah it adds the mission kneeboards on the right side for me at least here you can uh, define a, a few layouts profiles and I've using I've been using it only with F18 but you can define one for the a tan for the area as you want, as you like. <coughs> yeah. And keep in mind to auto load the mission kneeboard, check mark it so the That's it. Um, now I can show its functionality. Um, now scribbling on the right kneeboard, pressing more or less, thinner and thicker lines. I have uh, assigned the, uh, the stylus pen 3 button, the eraser, so easy to erase as well. Just the buttons on the Wacom I can change the tabs and when I'm looking in VR to the left tab as you can see you can uh, activate auto switching so if you are looking to left uh, kneeboard you are drawing automatically there I'm drawing now on the kneeboard to the left switching with the knee with the tablet's buttons, the left kneeboard, and the uh, pages as well. Very useful. Uh, also, if you don't own any tablet, as a chest to install uh, the VRK kneeboard, just because you have all, everything on hand easily, fast in VR. I think it's a perfect kneeboard for VR. And if the mission does have a kneeboard included, uh, you have everything on hand and you can take and uh, read the pages. Yeah, you can input, for example, you can add uh, hot dust controls also for the page down, page up. So there's no need to have a tablet installed or own one. Uh, resetting it, yeah. So don't forget to hit the apply, and if you ran into any troubles, uh, close the app and reopen it 
normally it will work then again. Yeah, that's my setup for the VRK app. Again, I suggest to every VR user, I suggest to install it. It's very useful, very easy to handle. And if you own a, or want to buy a Wacom tablet, it's just 60 bucks, so don't hesitate. Thanks for watching.